morning. You were talking in your sleep, darling. Oh, again? <laughs> it's quite endearing in a way. What did I say? Well, I don't know. You were mumbling. Come on, I must have been saying something. No, you weren't making any sense at all. I'll try and use actual words next time. Standing on the toilet seat. Why? There was a spider on the ceiling. I wanted to play. Well, you've managed to stay on the floor, so can you get down, please? Have I? There's only one little drop. Yep, yeah, well, one little drop has stained the floor. Now get down. Yes, sorry, Mother. Alfie, this has got to stop. What does? The lying. I can't see any spiders. So you standing on the toilet seat has got nothing to do with that flashing blue light out there. Look at me. Alfred Main, look at me. I know it's hard, but you know the rules. Everything I do, I do to protect you. And that includes stopping you from getting too close to the windows. I don't want to see you near that window again. Do you understand? Yes, Mother. You know what Curiosity did? Yes. What did it do? It killed the cat. <laughs> and it stained the bathroom floor. Oh, mother, oh, I... I'm only joking, silly. Come on, your breakfast is getting cold. What on earth is the matter? The purifier in the hallway. What about it? It was flashing red and then it switched off. Oh. What are we going to do? Well, the doctors, we're going to calm down. I'm not sure what nutrients there are in fingernails, so let's stop biting them, shall we? But, Mother... It's nothing to worry about. Don't talk with your mouth full. Why? Because it's working fine. Alfred, stop! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Uh, it's... It's okay. I'm sorry. It's just hard sometimes. I know it is. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I will get it fixed. Just be patient with me, please. Yes, Mother. Are you finished with your breakfast? Nice clean plate, good boy. Going to be late for work. Um, I'll, I'll clear the table for breakfast. Thank you, Mother. Mummy's still helper. I have nothing else to do all day. I love you, Alf. I love you too, Mother.
lovely stock. Uh, uh, he killed the cat, he killed the cat, he killed the cat. Say bye bye, Toto. Wave, wave, wave. Yes, yes I'm, I'm ready now. Then close your eyes. And tap, and tap your heels three times. times. And, and think, think to yourself, yourself there's, there's no place like home. 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 Dinner time. Oh, you must have fallen asleep watching the telly. Mm, let me guess. The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> My fate. How many times is that now? I lost count years ago. Is it, Mother? Do I have something around my mouth? No, no, it's nothing. I'm just so proud of the man you've become. Really? Yes. Am I not allowed to be proud? No, you are, huh? It's just... Well, what is there to be proud of? But you're my son. I'll always be proud of you. My boy, my hard-working, caring boy. A boy who may not remember his father, but who is certainly maturing into the great man he once was. I miss him. I miss him dearly every day. And that is why I am there from the moment you wake up every morning so that I can appreciate what I have and be proud of the boy I have brought up. Am I allowed to do that? Of course you are, Mother. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Leave it. Go and have an early night. Yes, Mother. Was I sleep talking again? <laughs> the actual words this time. <laughs> Mother! <laughs> you too, Alf.
Hello, mate. I don't think we've met yet. I just moved in upstairs. Uh, I'm throwing a housewarming party tonight, uh, you know, just to get to know the block a bit better. Uh, the invite's there if you want to come. Uh, uh, I'll have to ask Mother. Well, okay. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys there. I don't know, Mother. So how was your day? Good. I missed you. How was yours? Mother? Please don't leave me. Mother, what's going on? Please don't leave Mother, me. what are you talking about? Please don't leave me. Mother! and your little dog too. You my pretty and your little dog too. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. I'll get you Mother, are you okay? Morning, sweetie. Thank you. Of course not. Why are you crying? I need a cuddle from my sweet prince. Oh. You know what day it is today. Is it? I'm sorry I wasn't there to see you this morning when you woke up. It's okay, Mother. I was having a moment. Please don't cry. <laughs> oh. <sighs> no. No more tears. I'll make it up to you tonight. I'll cook us something really special. How does that sound? <sighs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm such a lucky boy. <laughs> right, I have to go to work now. So soon. Oh, Alf. I'll be back as quick as I can. Okay. Please don't be too long. Oh, Alf. I'll be as quick as I can. Be back before you know it. I love you. Alf! Oh, sorry, Mother. I love you too. Good boy. Have a lovely day. You too. See you later.
goodness. Someone's being busy. You're doing something special for me, so I thought I'd do something special for you. Well, there's doing something special and then there's doing all this. You really shouldn't have. Oh, I should have. You deserve this and a whole lot more, Mother. Oh, Alfie, come here. It's true, mothers do deserve the world. <laughs> but sometimes so do good boys. You just wait until you see what I've got planned for us tonight. I did make a mistake though. I used all the detergent. I tried to use as little as I could. I don't care about that. I'll pop out tomorrow and get some more. Bless you. What are we having? Only your favourites. Spam fritters. Uh. <laughs> oh, goodness, look at this place. It's spotless. Wake up, honey. Oh, you are adorable. No I really interest. don't deserve you. I think we should open it. Open what? Your father's special bottle. You're 18 now. I told you I had something special planned for us tonight. I don't think there'll be a more fitting time. It's only going to sit up there gathering dust. Yes, mother. I agree. Hmm. We love to drink your father. I remember when I bought him this. We'd had a stupid row. You know. How married couples do. <laughs> Your father had this jumper. It was given to him by his father. You know, passed down from generation to generation, that sort of thing. Well, it had sentimental value, which I didn't realise at the time. It was a horrible thing. It was all ripped and tattered, and it looked like a fat man had thrown up skittles all over it. And the smell of it. Whenever your father wore it, it was like he carried a fart round with him all day. Well, he refused to get rid of it, but thankfully he only wore it a couple of times. But he refused to get rid of it, and so it hung there in our wardrobe, passing on its horrible rotten apple smell to everything else that surrounded it. Well, one day I decided I would get rid of it. I thought he wouldn't notice. But when he came home from work that evening and he opened his wardrobe, he knew straight away. <laughs> he went berserk. It was like dealing with a, a newborn baby. He stormed out. He didn't return till hours later when I was fast asleep. And then we didn't speak until he came home for dinner the following evening. Um, I bought him this bottle to say sorry, but we never drank it. Didn't fancy it, so we just um, put it away. But it's over dinner that he told me about the jumper and why he kept it. He said that, yes, he hardly ever wore it, but it reminded him of his father and he would always cherish it. But even this imperfection turned out to be something rather perfect. And we never got round to opening the bottle. Until now. <laughs> You're my Skittles jumper, Alf. Does that mean I smell? <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, Mother. Thank you. I'm in the mood for dancing. Dancing? Mother, I I'm not sure Come if... on, it'll be fun. We've never danced with each other before. I've never danced with we'll anybody just hold before. each other. I don't know. I think I'm too tired. Alfie, your mother wants to dance. So we're going to dance. <laughs>
Yes, mother. My love must be a kind of blind love. Okay. I can't see anyone but you. your father's arms around me. those neighbours. What? The neighbours. What are you talking about? When they came over the other day. What? <laughs> what? Did you follow the script? Oh, I couldn't find it. Well, why didn't you tell me? I was going to. I was just afraid they'd come back. Oh, I feel sick. Well, did they? Did you open the door? Did they come inside? Why didn't you tell me? Why did you lie to me? Alfie, are you even listening to me? What else are you hiding from me? What else are you hiding from me? I don't believe you! Do you even understand the dangers you've been putting yourself in by keeping them a secret? I can't even begin to tell you! Alfred Main, you could have died. You could have vaporized into nothing. Oh, I know I've made mistakes and I know I'm not perfect, but everything I do, I do to protect you. But no, Mary, that's not good enough because you've been keeping things from me. Why, Alfie, why? We're supposed to tell each other everything. You're supposed to come to me with everything. Everything, Alfie. Why did you not care about the purifier, Mum? It's Mother. I will see you in the morning. <clears throat> oh, my head hurts. I bet it does. I'm staying at home today to keep an eye on you. Mother, I... Come and get something to eat. What are you doing? Just looking at the gas mask. Why? Because when I wore it the other day, I found it hard to breathe. It was all dusty. Well, it's dusty because thankfully you hardly ever have to use it. Well, I guess it doesn't really need a clean then. Well, I suppose it could do with a clean. You, my boy, have got a lot of kissing up to do after last night. You'll make it spotless, won't you? Yes, Mother. Sure you will. Mother? Just checking to see if you were all right. I'm fine, I think. And I was going to remind you that we're watching my wedding video later. It's tradition. Can we please watch The Wizard of Oz after? I know all the words, I do. I can show you. It's magical. Well, so is my marriage to your father. It's my Wizard of Oz. I always love watching it with you. Yeah. Sorry, Mother. Actually, I don't see why we can't do both. You do have me for the whole day. Can we? Oh, thank you, Mother. I know all the words I'll show you. <laughs> oh, Alfie, you were sick on the floor, too. 
oh, thanks to you, I'm going to have to clean that up. And as we've run out of cleaning products, the Wizard of Oz will just have to wait. I thought you were going to the shop. That can wait. I want to see if my beautiful boy knows all the words to this magical film of his. that film is. It's amazing. There's no place like home. <laughs> There's no place like home. Now for my film. <laughs> Happiest day of my life. I felt so loved and safe in your father's arms. It's like dancing on clouds. I felt like that briefly last night when I was in your arms. Mm. Would you like some more popcorn, Mother? Mm. Why not? Are you all right? Uh, yes, Mother. Sorry, I, I didn't want to disturb you. I was feeling a bit sick, so I came and had to lie down. Okay, are you sure you're okay? Yes, Mother. Maybe you're coming down with something. Yes, Mother. Well, I'm going to go to the shop and get you one of Mother's special remedies. Okay. Well, I need to get some cleaning products anyway because of a certain special someone. Mother? Yes, dear? I love you. Well, I love you too. Bye, Alfie. I'll be back in ten minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 